And we're live! How's it hanging, folks? Today we're playing some Space Engineers, and we're going to do things a little differently. If you remember my last excursion, hmm, I had a lot of problems with actual combat, despite the upgrades that we made. So, going into creative mode, we're going to figure out how to make our ship better. So we're going to do a lot of stuff to this thing. First of all, we need to make this thing more maneuverable. <laughs> to do that, we're going to need more gyros and more thrusters. So first of all, let's go back let's go back into this room back here. Where we have the other gyro. Let's just add a few more. More gyros means it's allowed to means it's able to turn faster. So let's try two more gyros. And we'll add a few more conventional thrusters and see if that does anything for us. Okay, that one's going to stick out a bit, just because that's the only way to keep that room sealed. Same with that side. Honestly, we're going to just add several. We're going to see how that helps. I just need to be able to get moving faster than I could before. We are speeding up a lot faster now. Not quite as fast as I might like. So what we're going to do is we're going to add more thrusters. Because what else do you do when you're not getting fast quickly enough? But where to put them? Perfect. <laughs> There we go. Four more thrusters. Which is admittedly a lot of thrusters to put on this thing. The reason I'm using exclusively like small ion thrusters though, is because large ion thrusters are like ten times as expensive. Like look at that. Look at this thing. Normal ion thruster. That's what it requires. Large ion thruster requires more than ten times as much. Or parts. I think it requires eleven, at least 11 times as many thruster components, which is a lot. And I'm not sure if it's 11 times as powerful as a thruster. So, I guess 13 thrusters it is. <laughs> Now we do have an alternative method here that we are going to attempt. So let's let's try this out. Let's see our acceleration now. Okay, that's that's better. We gotta mess with something here. I'm actually going to do something real quick. Yeah, so I've so I've activated the mod now that ups the speed cap. Like a lot. I think the speed cap is now 30,000 meters per second rather than the previous 100. So yeah, our, our ship accelerates a lot faster now. But we're going to try something weird that I'd seen. And I think the ship is pretty perfectly shaped for it. 
we're going to build a gravity drive. So what I'm going to need is some artificial mass blocks. I'm going to need some gravity generators. Now I have tried this in the past just on my own and I have yet to make it work. But I think we should give it a go. Just for fun. Oh. Okay. This one. Gotta turn it off. And then I gotta take the other one, place it, turn off the artificial gravity. And this one. Because otherwise, let's see if I can access the panel. I can. Okay. There we go. So otherwise, the ship will just go flying weirdly. Yeah. Now, for those of you unaware of what a gravity drive is, a gravity drive is a drive that, well, it's takes advantage of a certain programming oversight in this game. That is, artificial mass blocks can be affected by the gravity generated by artificial gravity generators on the ship that they are on. Oh wait, that's what I need to do, right. I need to turn off the normal gravity generator for the ship so that the artificial mass blocks don't react to it and start shoving us downward. Okay, we're going to try eight blocks, four on each side. Yeah, if this thing is not balanced, it, the ship will just react really weirdly. Let's see if we can make this work. Okay. Put two of these into a group called Gravity Drive. So now we can hit some buttons here. <laughs> Wrong buttons. <laughs> Gravity Drive, toggle on and off. accelerating us a little bit downward. So let's turn that off. Though if you'll notice, it is accelerating us pretty fast. Let's see what happens if we put these on the same level as the drive. It shouldn't have any effect. I don't think. I'm not particularly familiar with this technique. Because just put. It's not like the spherical gravity generators, because it's just pushing like. Oh, now it's going slightly up. Interesting. Interesting. Let's try adding a few more blocks. Adam. Both, see if it like cancels out. Should also make us go faster. Yep, it cancels out. It's working. And look how fast we are accelerating. Turn that off real quick. Let's see what we can do with this now. What? Let's see, the field width doesn't have to be very big at all. I'm going to set it just to like 20 meters. Same with field height, doesn't have to be much either. Or field depth. Acceleration is as high as it goes. The reason I turned down the fields like that is just for power conservation.
Yeah, so this allows the ship to accelerate forward crazy fast. But let's do a little experimenting, see if we can get it faster. Oh, oh, nope. Now the ship's gonna be thrown weirdly. Okay. Right, the ship doesn't currently have any artificial gravity. Okay. So we need to take the mass blocks. We're going to turn those off real quick. Because I think mass blocks technically use power. Now to do the other side. There we go, now they're all part of the gravity drive. Oh right, the mass blocks aren't on. Look at that, look at that. Brilliant. Now have a functioning gravity drive. A ship that can just get out of there whenever it needs to. Plus, the gravity drive is a heck of a lot less vulnerable than all the thrusters, which means it makes a very good emergency drive. Like, if I get into a battle and it's a little too much, hit the gravity drive, get out of there. <laughs> Still doesn't turn too well. So they put two new gyros in here. They're all at power 100%. Hmm. Oh well, I mean, it's a big ship, it's never going to turn too well.
So yeah, tips if you're considering building your own gravity drive. Uh, make your ship as symmetrical as possible. Distribute the artificial mass blocks as much as you can like, across it. If it's not perfectly even, it gets wonky. We're going to make this thing a new blueprint. Nope, this thing is Ramblin' Red V3. Well, we got that done pretty quick. So let's have some other fun with gravity generators. Why is there a perfectly circular? I mean, not perfectly, but why is there just a hole straight through this? Hmm, weird. Anyway, not what we came here for. We came here to build a weapon of mass destruction. I don't know which one will work here. better here. I know that the game has added a railgun, but we are going to use artificial gravity generators to build a railgun of our own. Oops. I've made this entirely the wrong shape. I mean, honestly, this thing can be as long or as short as you want it, but the longer you make the barrel of it, the more powerful the shot's going to be. Space Pirate, will, will you quit that? Okay. There. Now where were we?
Okay. Now we've got the barrel made. Now we take out every other one of the armor blocks in this. Well, we'll do this to every side. You know, just so we're not ending with a gap. I'll add one more. It'll become clear why we can't end with a gap. If it isn't already. Which side was the barrel end? Which side was... Okay, so this is the one. Right. Okay, now this is where it gets a little more interesting. Now we need a bunch of gravity generators. Like, a lot of them. This is going to become really expensive to build in survival. Which is why I've never built one in survival. Also, this thing is going to consume a crap ton of power. So be ready for that if you ever decide to build one of these in survival. Oh. Okay. I gotta make sure these are all pointing toward the barrel end. and you're pointing in any other direction, you are going to destroy your own gun. Also, I cannot recommend using this gun in the, like, in the area of any planetary gravity, unless you are facing directly toward the planet. In which case, you're good to go. This is not totally necessary, but makes it look a whole lot nicer. To kind of round out the inside of the barrel like this. Now we need to build the loading mechanism. Let's see if I remember how to build this. <laughs> I've been a hot second. Let's see, we need some welders. If I'm remembering correctly, three welders. Oops. Also need a projector. And just so we can power this thing, we'll grab a couple of reactors. Let's see. Ah, artificial gravity field at this point is 
40 times the gravity of Earth. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, that's a pretty good speed right there. Now let's get our projector on here. And get it configured. It is going to project our projectile. Which one I had? Different projectile. Was it bomb three? <laughs> Yep, it was bomb three. Just have to get configured so it is actually projecting in the right spot. <laughs> nope. Kind of hate the projector. Almost right. Right, I need a fourth welder on top. Why do I have so much uranium in my hands? There we go. Wait, almost. Needs to go up one more. There. Now, of course, in survival, if you were building this, you'd need to connect this to something to gain parts for all these welders. Wait, if I were to activate them right now... <laughs> right, they won't build it unless it's connected to the grid. <laughs> so what we need to do here is build it up. There we go. So it's connected to the grid. Now then, grinders have a really weird thing where they won't grind something that is part of their own grid. So we kind of have to go around that a little bit. How can we go around that easily though? Simple. Get a hinge. Is something shooting at me again? Dang it! Stop it! There. Disarmed. Freaking thing. Shot my freaking projector. It's really annoying. Why are there so many? Okay. So, as I was saying, this hinge. Go in here. Grab the hinge. Is it facing the right way? It's facing the right way now. Okay, now we never have to change the way that hinge is again, so we lock it. Now 
Now we grab a grinder. The grinder is how we fire it. <laughs> so there is our gravity cannon. So let's build a target for it. Just over here out in space. that's in line. Probably will hit that. But the last thing we need is a control station. Preferably outside the gravity field of those things. So I mean, first of all what we can do is we can just make a control seat. Right there. And we, need, we want to group together all of these because we have to make a few groups now. We're going to call that one weapon power. Welders, we'll call them reload. Grinder. Fire. There we go. We're just going to stick them in order. Loan and fire. Okay. Now also what we want to do, we want to go in we need this thing Field height doesn't have to go quite that far. If we do want to make sure this is still in its full pull. Well, honestly, while you're sitting here, you're not affected by the gravity anyway. <laughs> All the way. Of course, if you put this on a ship, you should probably fine-tune it so your crew's not getting thrown around by the gravity weapon. Okay, one last thing. We're going to place a camera so that we can watch. <laughs> Okay, so also keep in mind you do have to turn reload off before you turn on fi before you fire it. Otherwise, it'll just constantly keep repairing what the grinder is trying to break. So let's give this a go. <laughs> Fun, huh? But that was just light armor, you know. That's that's nothing. That's paper. Let's bring out some bigger guns, huh? Let's try it out with some heavy armor. Of course, gotta make sure I'm lined up. What is this? Is that like a... Oh, that's a chunk of the space pirate ship. <laughs> Serves him right.
Okay, I think that's big enough for it to guarantee actually hitting. Okay. Powering weapon. Oh, great. Because the because the projector broke. Oh, wait. Yeah, the projector broke, so now it's... Okay. <laughs> Resetting the projector. <laughs> okay, good. It's in the right spot, at least. I think. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, powering weapon. Reloading. And firing. Hmm. Well, that actually didn't seem to do much at all. Is it damaged? Oh, it's certainly damaged. <laughs> okay. So let's fix it. Not quite a whole lot of damage. However, that warhead was actually unarmed. <laughs> Same with the first shot. But neither shots were that. Those warheads armed. I have a habit of forgetting to arm warheads before I fire them. Okay, that'll be good enough. This time, let's arm the warhead and then fire it. Then see what kind of damage we can do with that. Where's the control seat? There. Hopefully that's the last one. Somehow I doubt it. I'm stuck. There we go. There. Okay. Now! If I can find the control seat again. Did he destroy my freaking control seat? They shot my control seat. They shot my chair. There. Well, the barrel's misshapen now. Warhead. Warhead armed. Reload off. Oh, almost forgot to set camera. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. That's what you want to see. Blown to smithereens. I don't even know where the parts are. So yeah. That is how you build a gravity cannon. Follow for more helpful tips. Anyway, I think that's enough for today. We put a gravity drive on the Ramblin' Red and we built a gravity cannon. Can't really ask for much more. Well, that's all I got for you today. 